Okay, let's move to CNS pharmacology. First one being anti-epileptic drugs. All the anti-epileptic drugs are CNS depressants and that's the modality how anti-epileptic drugs are working. You depress the central nervous system and your job is done. Right? The way by which you depress the CNS is by blocking sodium channel and that can be done by carbamazepine and phenytoin which are pure sodium channel blockers and one of the mechanism of valproate and lamotrigine is blockage of sodium channel right the other way by which you can depress the cns is activating gaba receptors because gaba is inhibitory neurotransmitter right so benzodiazepines and barbiturate bind with gaba receptor and inhibit the neuron also you can increase the release of gaba with the help of gaba pentin or you can decrease the degradation of GABA with the help of V-GABA train. It is a GABA transaminase inhibitor, right? And from VI, you can remember the side effect of V-GABA train is visual defect, right? And side effect of carbamazepine and lamotrigin is SJ syndrome, Steven Johnson syndrome. SJ syndrome is also a side effect of sulfonamides, right? So sulfonamides, carbamazepine and lamotrigin causing Steven Johnson syndrome. Valproate can cause alopecia, loss of hairs, neural tube defects and hepatitis and cause fulminant hepatitis in less than two years of patient. So please don't give valproate to less than two year child. Now I'll give you 10 reasons why you should avoid phenytoin in young hot ladies. If you give phenytoin to say Malika, she'll come to you with hirsutism, hairs in her cheek, hypertrophy of gums, weak bones, allergy, lymphadenopathy, cardiac arrhythmia and at the top if she get pregnant, oh my god. Her child will also suffer from fetal hydantoin syndrome. Look how pity it is. She'll have anemia because Phenytoin interferes with folate and phenobarbiton and primidone which are a barbiturate also interferes with folate metabolism, right? These are the side effects of phenytoin. You got to remember this hot malika, right? So all of the following antilipic drug act via sodium channel except V-GABATRIN is a transaminase inhibitor, GABA transaminase inhibitor. Which drug does not cause seizure? Lemonrigin is an anti-epileptic drug, it will not cause seizure. True about carbamazepine is it will cause Steven Johnson syndrome, sulfonamide, carbamazepine and lamotrigin. Fetal hydantoin by phenytoin. A patient with recent onset. Now look, if she has if the patient has phenytoin allergy, you can switch the patient to sodium valproate. All the following statement of phenytoin is true except it stimulates insulin secretion. Nope, it inhibits. Look. It inhibits the insulin secretion it will inhibit the insulin secretion and can cause hyperglycemia so stimulate insulin secretion is false which one of the following drug does not interfere with folic acid metabolism gabapentin does not interfere i said barbiturates and phenytoin barbiturates like phenobarbiton and primidone adverse effect of valproic acid derivative include all of the following except Osteomalacia is sort of a side effect of phenytoin, not valproate. Not an anti-migraine drug. Guys, there are some newer anti-epileptic drugs like sonisamide, topiramat, right? One of the use of topiramat apart from using it in epilepsy is usage in migraine. So it is one of the non-epileptic use of anti-epileptic drug about the topiramat. But zonisamide cannot be used in migraine. Right, so it's not an anti-migraine drug. 